So we have three blind mice, lifting weights, goldfish, and crying your heart out. So this is a situation of the blind leading the blind. Oh, you could be strong, exercising your strength, showing your power. Someone wanted you to be swimming in a fishbowl, crying your heart out, but it looks like these three blind mice may be crying their heart out. Something didn't work out the way somebody thought it was going to. You have good intentions. Someone could have bad intentions for you, but you have good intentions. So you're a good, caring, kind soul. But the jellyfish and the stinging intentions. So someone may have had intentions to sting you, cause you harm, but you're protected. You could be feeling protective over you, your family, your energy, your life, your time, your money, whatever the case. You know, someone lacked courage. Someone was weak. They were trying to weaken you. Like I said, someone wanted you to be swimming in a fishbowl, and it looks like there could be a group of people here, possibly up to three or more, that are not happy with the way something turned out. Something did not go their way. So, let's find out what that was. Oops. Hmm. So someone's throwing, someone's fishing, taking someone's temperature mosquito bite, someone's fishing, trying to figure out a way to uh, irritate you, get under your skin. It's like somebody wants to just fuck your shit up. <clears throat> Someone did not want to wake up. They could have had a group of people traveling towards you to do some shady shit. With the door sticky, they couldn't get something open, and so someone's going to have to call the game. Umpire's the third word there. So something is being called... Like, the game's being called, they're going to have to throw in the towel. Something has to be laid to rest or needs to be laid to rest within this group. They were always trying to burst your bubble. They didn't want anyone cheering you on. They sure as hell weren't cheering you on. Um, they could be acting like babies with the bottle being the third word on there. So someone could have been acting like a child, or this group could have been acting childish or like babies. Ooh. Blowing the whistle, steam, teapot, <clears throat> and crib. Someone could be blowing the whistle... Um, steam, pouring the tea, spilling the tea, someone could be spilling the tea. Ooh, that went flying. Some sort of information. Someone could be spilling the tea regarding some sort of information. This could be regarding a child or about somebody acting childish crib. Could also be an indication of a house. Not necessarily a baby, but someone could be spilling the tea regarding a house, a baby, a child, or about some sort of childish behavior. Alright. Not getting anything else out of there. Let's check these. Follow the energy. Somebody wanted to be seen as front and center. Someone's not. That I heard line leader. Someone's not the line leader. I actually have stuff to do. Okay, so you're busy. You're not wasting your time. Um, you're not giving whoever this group is attention or time um, or your energy. Somebody call the cops. It's illegal to look that good. Someone wanted you to um, not have any self-confidence or have confidence in yourself or your abilities. They didn't want anyone to see you as being in the front or front and center. This, this group of people really wanted you to have like a lack of confidence, self-esteem. They wanted people to think badly about you. There could also be something illegal regarding a situation. So if this is a situation regarding a home, um, somebody could have been doing some illegal activities that they do not want exposed. If the ex was good enough, God wouldn't have told me to love my neighbor. So if someone in your neighborhood could be causing problems for you. This could be, I heard neighborhood watch. Um, your neighbors could be in on something. Um, your ex could be significant here. Something about illegal activities and the cops. Maybe your neighbors called the cops on you. 
um, made allegations or a report against you just to get under your skin to irritate you like the Karen, you know, like a Karen neighbor who just wants to cause conflict. I don't suffer insanity. I enjoy every minute of it. So, you know, you have stuff to do and someone is just insane. I, I heard clinically insane. I'm not a medical professional. I cannot diagnose anyone, uh, but there's more than one way to skin a cat. And this person is like obsessed they have some sort of mental instability or mental health issue and they keep thinking or trying to think of more ways to like harm you or, or be a pain in your ass to get under your skin but there's some illegal activities going on here someone is spilling the tea this could be you or someone a neighbor that knows something there's a secret meeting there's a meeting whether it's secret or a few people know about it, but I feel like it's a secret meeting because that's the first thing that came to my mind. There is a secret meeting here on how to put an end to something where there's a group of people that um, are no longer going to be meeting up and plotting and planning something. These three blind mice. There could be a lot of talk going on. People could be talking about the ending of something or needing to put an end to a situation, how to deal with a situation. Maybe you need to move or relocate. People are just trying to get under your skin. You could have multiple neighbors that are being a pain in your ass. Could be problems with, you know, landlord maintenance has been coming out as well. So, um, you yeah, know, there could be a lot of people that's just been working really hard to get under your skin and irritate you. Trying to, like, bully you or harass you. It could be part of, like, gang stalking or something like that going on. Yeah, they're weak. They're cowards. They can't weaken you. Something is ending. Definitely an ending with the death card there. The lie. Someone sent a message. There was a messenger. A message of a lie. That was meant to weaken you. So someone called... I just feel like someone called the cops on somebody. Oh, fuck. Somebody made a report. A police report about somebody. Oh, man. They weren't just trying to get under your skin. They were trying to put get some charges put on you or get you arrested or something. And they lied. So there was some sort of lie that was told to do this. Someone's lie could be being exposed. I don't know. Maybe a detective was involved. Hmm. Knight of Cups. You could have rejected someone's offer if they came towards you and they could have been upset or pissed off and they lied about it. So they wanted to get back at you and weaken you and cause an ending for you. So maybe you told someone no and they didn't handle rejection well. And so they decided to make your life a living hell. This could be a neighbor or somebody who's obsessed with you or watching you. They want an opportunity to be with you, but I feel like maybe, I don't know, I feel like maybe they didn't approach you. Maybe they were, like, testing the waters or something. It's kind of like the kid who's irritating, like, in class, and they're trying to get your attention, but they might not have come, like, directly to you and, like, said anything to you, but it's like they, they want you to pay attention to them or, or they're doing something to gain some sort of attention, but it's, like, bad attention. It's not necessarily good attention, and I don't know if it was... Yeah, if it was them per se that called the cops but there's someone here who's trying to get your attention and you could have rejected their offer or they didn't even come towards you with an offer but i feel like you have another neighbor or somebody in your close proximity um that was making some sort of allegations against you and trying to cause legal issues for you something is a civil matter not not a police matter so something has to go through the courts though possibly So someone may have thought that they could get their buddies in law enforcement to help them out with something, but their hands are tied. King of Swords. Someone's thinking logically in a situation, making head over heart decisions. This could be you. Someone could be thinking logically about a Ten of Cups situation, family stability. This could be you thinking about your family and your family stability or a king of swords that wants to have this ten of cups with you they could be thinking about it daydreaming about it but there was an unsuccessful um love here it either ended or it didn't even begin there was something that, that didn't work out someone didn't 
Someone either didn't come and make a love offer or the offer was rejected. Or they can't make you an offer for some reason. I'm hearing conflict of interest. There may be a conflict of interest within this situation. Shit, maybe it's a cop that came out to your house after a report was made and they're like, hey, maybe I should ask this person out. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Anything else? Alright, moving on. I would like to know more about this. So then we have the Queen of Swords and swift action being taken regarding a ton of pentacles. Once again, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Huh. So there's some sort of swift action or a judgment. But there's an unsuccessful relationship. So once again, like somebody's love offer could have been rejected or it was never made. Somebody could be trying to make your life hell because you didn't want to date them or something. What the hell? This has to do with a housing situation. So there's some sort of swift action or a judgment that's being made regarding a ten of pentacles and a house. So there could be a married couple here that could be significant, or um, you know, it doesn't. They don't have to be a married couple. Um, maybe somebody wants to marry you, but somebody could want to give you a house, give gift you a house, or you're going to be moving, getting a ten of pentacles. So you could be receiving there could be a judgment that's going to give you a significant amount of money or enough money to buy a house or purchase a home or put a down payment on a home yeah somebody was not victorious this was a no for somebody um that you rejected or they didn't even come towards you in the first place to offer you some love we have the devil card here so there could be a deal someone could want to make a deal with you regarding a home so this could be a contract, there could be a contract coming out about regarding a home situation and communication, Knight of Wands, so there could be some sort of information coming to you regarding a contract and a home and your innocence, because someone lied, Page of Swords, and the reverse, so someone was not victorious having victory over you, because first of all, they were either rejected or they never came towards you with an offer and they lied. In your innocence. So this could have been somebody like, I don't know, this could have been like your landlord or something. Maybe you rejected your landlord or a realtor or something. But you're innocent in a situation, so someone could have lied to try to get you kicked out of a house. There was a heartbreaking situation with someone placing heavy burdens on you. So somebody could have been trying to tie you up in the legal system. Balance needs to be restored in a situation. So somebody could have broken some karmic or secular laws here. Something was out of balance because of some sort of lies that were being told. That could be why people are talking. I'm getting like a meeting or a group like, um, like the judges chambers like a meeting in a judges chambers kind of situation like that's that's the kind of energy i'm getting is like um like a judge and maybe a couple lawyers meeting or talking in the judges chambers that could be significant that could have to do with a deal or a contract or dissecting a contract there's someone like trying to read the fine print somebody partnered up with someone to stop an abundance stop you from being abundant to place these heavy burdens on you to cause heartbreak so there was a partnership of people working together within a group. Like I said, it was like three blind mice. So there was there was at least two people, you know, in a secret partnership here that was working to cause heavy burdens for another person. And I feel like this has to do with a home. So maybe you've had difficulty finding a home or purchasing a home, but there's a ton of pentacles here. So you could have gotten, um, you know, a significant amount of money or you're going to for a home. Yeah, the offer you've been waiting for, you've been patiently waiting or impatiently waiting, but you've been waiting for an offer. Not just any offer, the right offer. And this person or these group of people, whoever these people were working together, they thought they were going to get a clean slate. They're left looking like fools. They do not get a new start or new beginning. If they thought they were going to steal a house or steal some sort of money from you, it didn't work out. But they were trying to cause some heavy burdens on you to take something from you, obviously. Involved in this, I'd 
like to know who else is involved. So far we just have the King and Queen of Swords and they're both in the upright. So we have heavy burdens and a cycle being closed out. So whoever this is that's placing heavy burdens on you, that cycle is over or it's going to be over, it's closed out. You know, you've had the strength and courage and perseverance to get through something. It was definitely an emotional situation. Someone was trying to take a treasure, steal a treasure, something that you held valuable or dear, and that's over a death. So the cycle of somebody trying to cause an ending for you and stealing a treasure from you is over. They're getting bad luck, or they brought bad luck upon themselves. You have this Ace of Pentacles, new start, new beginning, job, home, relationship, and an offer coming towards you with a Knight of Cups. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's... Um, Gold digger, someone who's not good with money management or finances. So we have a karmic femme energy and something over for this person. Could have been somebody who was trying to gain wealth off of you. This person may have to pay you a ten of pentacles. This could be a business owner, something like that. But we have a ten of pentacles here that came out sideways. So you have a ten of pentacles coming towards you in the now and your future energy. person abused their power they rushed in with lies and they caused an imbalance so they could have forged some paperwork or documentation they were working with somebody secretly and that's why they're not getting a victory is because they did something shady or illegal maybe they even called the cops on you they brought a tower moment upon themselves and they were working with the king of cups which could have been your ex somebody that you were in a relationship with or somebody that you rejected because they're emotionally unstable or unbalanced. You're seen as the star here, so you have a divine connection and protection. And something is moving forward for you. There's going to be movement or traveling. You could be taking a trip, journeying, driving around, looking for a new location. I just heard location, location, location. So you're looking for the right location for this house. King of Cups is either somebody that you rejected or that you were in a relationship with and ended. This person wanted to make your life hell. There's a group of people here trying to keep you trapped and stuck and they think this is funny. There's someone here who's playing games with you. More than one person. You have people playing games trying to distract you. They didn't want you to be able to find a way out and they're pissed off. Because they can't stop you from escaping or getting out of something. Maybe you're getting out of a bad contract or a bad deal. Because there was something, there's something in the fine print, there was something that was not legit or solid about a contract or an agreement. Somebody was either acting childish or they involved children in this situation. Someone was pissed about a child. So your ex, if, if this was your ex, maybe they were pissed off that um, you were going to get custody of a child or something. There's an older feminine woman who's pissed off, throwing a fit be that queen of pentacles oh, there's a couple here in the reverse that didn't want a door to open for you so they were trying to stop a door from opening Jeez. so once again we have a couple here we have an, um, an older feminine so we have a masculine and a feminine and a couple here and there's an ending a tower moment here a permanent ending to a situation because someone's going to help you maybe because they want to marry you and come towards you with an offer Someone's husband wants to help you, maybe. There's some sort of help, and then there's a husband. So, whether this is someone that wants to be your husband or somebody else's husband, someone wants to help you out. Yeah, somebody wanted, pretended to help you. Like, there was a couple here that were acting like they were helping you, but they were trying to harm you. Once again, that could be, you know, a real estate couple, a married couple, something like that. Maybe... Um, the feminine was still trying to, re you know, I'm just, I gotta say it how it could be, or how, it, you know, I see it. If this is a married couple who was doing shady business practices, you know, and if this masculine is interested in you, they might be trying to help you out, and the wife may be pissed off about it. 
Um, but they did something illegal, so they have to try to fix something or cover something up. But it could also be that um, someone helping you, like if it was this married couple and this is a separate masculine, they were putting on a show. Someone was putting on a show trying to take you for a ride by trying to offer you help. The intent was to rip you off in some sort of way or steal something from you. <clears throat> Whether this was a ten of pentacles, a significant amount of money, or a house. Someone could have been trying to steal a house from you as well. They were definitely playing games with you surrounding a house. So maybe you put in an offer for a house or something and someone would never, like, maybe didn't turn in your paperwork or something like that. There's someone here who's really confused about a feminine energy. Or it could be this feminine energy who's confused because they were pissed off and they were really dark. So someone may be shocked or surprised to find out how dark their spouse was if this is a situation where maybe a couple was not on the same page here. Um, or someone could just be really shocked and surprised about, you know, what someone did to you just because they were upset and pissed off at you. Yeah, someone was watching. So someone was spying, watching, trying to throw, like, hurdles your way, heavy burdens. <clears throat> And there's definitely a feminine energy here in the reverse that was pissed off, had dark intentions, was watching you. They were lying, <clears throat> misdirecting. So they were acting like they were trying to be helpful, but um, they were giving you misdirection. Or they were intentionally redirecting your attention so that you couldn't get something done or so you wouldn't reach a destination. It was like they were constantly putting these burdens on you. So that you couldn't overcome something or focus on what you needed to be focused on. Someone was trying to cause distractions for you. Maybe have you scared or something. It's like they needed a certain time frame for this opportunity to get something from you. And so they needed you to stay where you're at for a while longer. So it's like they kept doing shit so that you couldn't find a way out of the situation. And they had really dark intentions. So someone was sitting back and waiting for the results. They thought that they were going to get away with this, that no one would know about it. And they were sitting back expecting. But there's someone here who doesn't want to be married. So maybe this is a masculine energy who doesn't want to be married to this <clears throat> person anymore. And they want to help you. Um, you know, I feel like there's a masculine here who's not happy about finding out what their wife did. And the links they went to because someone's disguise fell off someone's suit fell off they don't look as official as they portrayed themselves to be there's a feminine energy and like a whorehouse so someone lied they could have made a once again man so this masculine could be finding out their wife made a police report and said that you were a whore or you were running a whorehouse something like that and that you needed to be kicked out of a place she could have told her husband that. I know that's come out in reading before. This could be a different way of reading it or a different situation. You know, everyone doesn't go through the exact same situation, but could be similar. Um, but yeah, someone um, was really dark and they were causing misdirection by saying that you were like a whore, a prostitute, something like that. Um, that you were either frequently frequenting those establishments or like running one out of the house or something like that. But there's definitely something with, um, you know, that kind of situation going on. So there's a, there's a feminine energy whose, uh, whose suit fell off. They're not official. This is like the hierophant energy in the reverse. Even though it's a feminine in the upright, their suit's falling off. They're not official. They portrayed themselves to be an official person or someone who was upstanding, but they're not. <clears throat> Someone's finding this out, and I feel like it's their spouse the links they went to maybe they were jealous of a divine femme yeah someone's there's an ass that's being stopped dead in their tracks ass that Someone's looking like a deer in headlights. They didn't expect to get caught. Someone's getting caught like red-handed in the act. 
they were trying to control a situation, keep someone, you know, from escaping. It's like, no, 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 you're going to stay with me. You're going to stay with me. I can, but I won't. So someone is unmotivated. So someone may not be motivated to stay in a relationship anymore because they're feeling suffocated. And this person is really dark. So they may be attached to a dark feminine energy. Smile, it confuses people. Someone was confused why someone was tired all the time nap attack why someone was spending so much time like looking you up stalking you following you on social media and this was the feminine that was doing it not the masculine which is really weird but she was the one that was doing it someone's coming back like er, do i get a do-over and you're just unbothered so this person keeps coming back to try to do some more shady shit and you're unbothered Something could have gotten physical. This person become, could become mentally, physically, verbally abusive. So there could have been a lashing out. There could have been some sort of altercation that happened between this couple. Someone says it feels like love at first sight. So maybe someone's been oogling you since they first laid eyes on you. And this female didn't like it. Relax, it will be over soon. Someone's trying to cover up illegal activities. Yup. It's only a matter of days. What's holding you back? Lovers. Someone wants to be your lover? Someone wants to come towards you and maybe tell you they want to be your lover. Be strong. This person may see you as courageous or strong. Maybe they were weak. Maybe they were just trying to, um, you know, try to keep the peace within their marriage or whatever partnership this is, relationship, but this masculine could want to come towards a divine femme. Somebody wants to be someone's lover and it's only a matter of days and someone's trying to cover up their illegal activities. Someone's definitely up to some shady shit. Someone's guilty. So be strong. Someone's guilty. They wanted you to be crying. They're trying to sabotage you. There's a gold digger that's trying to sabotage someone. So that's that queen of pentacles energy. They need to go heal their childhood wounds. Not everyone's in competition with them, you psycho bitch. Just saying. Bitches be crazy. Yeah, someone is doing too much multitasking and someone was frisky or, you know. Yeah, they didn't change. They're still the same. Someone was desperate. So maybe this person has been cheated on before by their spouse. And so they're trying to make you paranoid. They want you to leave because this person is lonely. They wanted you to cancel your plans. They don't want this person to come towards you. Someone was pissed off. A father or son. So there's a father figure or son. So this could be a father of someone's child, this could be the father of your child, this could be the father of this Queen of Pentacles' child, um, or their son. Because there is an older feminine energy here. So someone was pissed off at a father or a son, and a relative was involved. So someone's relative, a masculine relative, for sure. So there's definitely a masculine relative that was significant here. That knows something, or that was involved with something. Um, this could have, this Queen of Pentacles, the Karmic Femme, could have gotten a relative, father or son, to help them do whatever this is that they're doing. Maybe they have a relative in law enforcement, or there's some sort of corrupt officials or something that helped this person out. They need to stop wasting their time, though. They're not going to get anywhere with this. You healed from your childhood wounds. Someone wants you to shut up, but you're not going to. Hold your tongues in the reverse. So you healed from something, and someone doesn't want anyone to find out that you healed. That you're better, that you maybe are a healer. It's like they wanted to keep you traumatized, so you could have gone through something really heartbreaking. 
and you needed some time to heal, and this person didn't want you to heal, um, you have an ace up your sleeve, an ace in the hole, and that's because you healed. So someone could have been trying to weaken you using trauma or something, or past traumas against you. For all intents and purposes, don't step on anyone's toes. This person definitely stepped on your toes. October could be significant. It could be someone's birthday or the month that somebody tried some slick shit. Don't burn your bridges. Somebody doesn't want to burn their bridges with you. They want to jump in with something with both feet. Someone got caught in the crossfire here, and they, they're going to end up crying. I feel like it's this feminine energy because this is big man on campus. This is like king or queen of wands energy in the reverse. Someone wants to bury the hatchet with you, and I feel like it's the masculine energy in this couple. But they're going to have to bite the bullet because somebody was trying to rip you off, and they're a bald-faced liar. So someone has to bite the bullet because they have to acknowledge that someone's a bald-faced liar. They were lying to everyone or they believe some sort of lies. And so initially they could have been part of this group that was attacking you, but they don't want to do that anymore. February could be significant with a, a Leo. Someone saw the writing on the wall. So somebody started to see things in February. They started noticing something wasn't right about a situation. Justice is blind, so somebody was trying to be slippery with the justice system. Slippery is an eel, justice is blind. In the morning time, somebody could have, um, you know, maybe filed some paperwork or did something shady in February or threatened to. You're going to be happy as a clam, though, because something was too difficult, a tough road to hoe, because something was a lie. Not th it wasn't the truth. You're coming out of the woods because you're sincere. You're a good person. You're not vindictive or spiteful. You don't go around trying to hurt people. In fact, you're probably working on healing and bettering yourself. And these people wouldn't leave you alone. Someone's going to get arrested. Someone's missing you. So someone that's missing you could be getting arrested because they're under judgment. Someone's missing you. And they've called judgment. So somebody wants to be with you and they've called judgment on a situation because they're tired. They're angry. So someone who's pissed off and missing you has called judgment. Someone you were in a relationship with? Maybe they're going to come back to you and say that they're missing you because judgment is called and they're pissed off and they, they could be getting arrested and they don't want to go to jail. Or it could be someone that you were in a relationship with that is missing you and they want to call judgment on someone because they're pissed off and angry um, after finding out what happened to you in this situation. A Gemini could be significant. Something's going to happen in the nick of time because someone is as ugly as sin. And there's an eye for an eye. So there's definitely something that needs to be balanced out. Whatever was done to you is going to backfire. Count your blessings. There is something significant about the past, though. Blast from the past is in the reverse. So somebody tried to make something from the past happen again or bring up that old shit. They play for the other team. So someone was your op. They were working against you. And they were trying to keep you on that old cycle. But you're past that. You learned your lessons. It's time to move on. Now it's time for someone else to have judgment called on their ass. They obviously have some lessons to learn. Anything else? Yeah. Someone that you lived under the same roof as. Possibly. Or that someone from your past lives under the same roof as somebody so this could have been your ex and their whoever they ended up with that was working against you someone's going to be as poor as a church mouse in aquarius but better late than never so like i said um eye for an eye here so whatever someone was trying to do to you it's going to happen to them There's something significant about the night time so someone's doing some shit in, at night time. Yeah, someone was left spinning their wheels because someone might not want to live under the same roof as someone anymore. Somebody didn't want to see the light. They refused to change. And now someone's going to have to go back to square one. So someone's going to have to start all over. Back to the drawing board. Someone's going to possibly end up in poverty this karmic female this gold digger whoever this person is they could be ending up 
and poverty. Something significant could be happening in the next 24 hours back to square one. Someone's going to have to start all over back to the drawing board within 24 hours. Letter N could be significant. I just heard NICU. Someone could have a baby that's in like the NICU unit. Q. Z. Hmm. Someone could have lost a baby that was in the NICU unit. My apologies. My condolences. I. Something hasn't been the same since. And T G I feel like the baby had a very unique name. Like, really unique. Like, I heard Zenny, like, or, you know, I know there's Z-I-N-N, -N, um, but, like, Zenny or Zany, something, I don't know, it was a really, it's, like, a, a very unique name, B. It just may have been born, like, prematurely or had some sort of health issues. A, and I'll do two more. B, so we're getting double letters, a lot of doubles, and F. So I have N, N, B, B, T, I, I, Q, G, Z, A, and F. I hope this helps. Have a good day.